welcome to another episode. So if you didn't already hear, last week, Kansas City and Jackson County voters rejected soundly a referendum that would have provided funding to renovate Arrowhead Stadium and give the Royals a completely new stadium downtown away from where they exist today in the suburbs. And this was a little bit of a surprise, at least to me it was, because this wasn't a new tax, it was just an extension of an existing sales tax, 3 8 cents. But in the end, I mean, it really wasn't that close. It was a 16 point spread about. And that just goes to show you that just simply throwing this back up on the ballot again probably is not gonna work. But in this video, I'm gonna get into a few concrete reasons as to why this failed, so let's get to it. First off, you have a lack of a solid plan. The Royals had no actual concrete rendering for this new stadium that they wanted. And there was a lot of controversy over where the stadium would be because it was going to displace people. People were going to have to move, vacate their businesses. There was a lot of controversy in the downtown area where they wanted to put this stadium and there was pushback. As for the Arrowhead Stadium renovation, it just was very unimpressive, in my opinion. I mean, it really doesn't add much to the stadium, and it's expensive, $800 million, for basically a small facelift of the stadium. I mean, we're talking about things that most people don't care about, as in parking, reconfiguring, and a very expensive like luxury section they want to build, which really just doesn't apply to the average fan. I mean, most fans are not going to be able to afford or buy tickets for super exclusive luxury sections in the lower bowl. There was also some stupid plaza thing that they wanted to build, very unnecessary for the stadium. It's like they just are spending money for the sake of spending money. I mean, this isn't like in 2010 when they did the major renovation, the stadium was aged significantly and probably needed upgrading. This is basically just spending money for the sake of spending money because their lease is getting close to ending. It didn't need this renovation and you really it just didn't seem like you're getting much. And on top of it, the Hunt family, which is one of the richest families in the NFL, they only wanted to put up like 300 out of the 800 million, so not even half. And this is on top of them having one of the worst practice facilities in the NFL, which ownership is responsible for paying. So that basically exemplifies the fact that they're cheap when it comes to spending on facilities for their team. So really both plans had flaws. One was not even much of a plan and the other one was very unimpressive and the split could have been better. Next we have the fact that taxpayer funding for stadiums has become unpopular and especially referendums as in voters going to the polls approving funds for stadiums. I don't believe a stadium funding issue has been passed at the ballot box by voters in quite a few years now. You've had multiple rejections. The Chargers tried to do a referendum years ago. It got rejected by a fair margin. The Coyotes tried to do one, again, rejected by a fair margin a few years ago. I think a lot of it has to do with the internet and people have a lot more access to information. Everybody can look up how much these owners are worth, what the funding split is. It's just not like how it was 30 years ago. And I think this is a big reason, is the costs for renovations and stadiums has just gotten out of control. Consider this, in California, just two years ago, they built an entire new college football stadium for 310 million, less than half of what it's going to cost or what they believe it will cost to renovate Arrowhead Stadium. I know inflation's high, but these estimates and the numbers have just gotten so crazy that how, how, could, how could taxpayer votes and issues even keep up with how much and how fast the values of these construction projects are reaching? The next reason I wanna talk about here is the fact that nobody cares if they move to Kansas. The Chiefs and the Royals already do not play in downtown Kansas City, so it's not like downtown is going to lose some valued asset to the suburbs or, you know, another state or city or whatever. It's like it's already in the suburbs, so it's not much of any value to downtown. So 
who cares if it's in Kansas? There's parts of Kansas that are closer to downtown Kansas City and where the stadiums are now. You know, the Jets and Giants don't play in New York State, and nobody seems to really have a problem with that. So if they think they're going to get people to vote for stadium funding just based on the fact that they would be in the state of Kansas instead of Missouri, it's probably not going to work. It's not a very strong argument. I don't think people care as long as they stay in the market and the metro. Like, who cares if they move to Kansas? It's not a big deal. They're already not downtown. And the last reason simply is Kansas City doesn't believe your bluff. The Royals owners from the area, it's very hard to move a baseball team right now. They're not, it doesn't have the same popularity as the NFL. And the best markets for new MLB teams probably are going to be filled by the time the Kansas City Royals lease is up in 2030. Plus, you'd also have to get another city to put up the money for a stadium, and you'd have, probably have to pay relocation fees, things like that. So it's not just simple to just move a team. You know, you can threaten to move, but the actual action itself is not simple and not cheap. And with the Chiefs, there's more demand for an NFL team, but does anybody really think that they would move the team from Kansas City I mean, anything's possible, but it's very unlikely. It's, it's too solid of a brand. And again, it's also very expensive to move a team. And so both just nobody believes their bluff. So let me know what you think. Do you think it's a big deal if they move to Kansas? Do you think they should come up with a better deal? Let me know and thank you so much for watching.